and welcome my name is jocelyn and it is the start of a new month which means it is time for another palette rotation and another shot my stash this is my palette rotation video and then the next one that's going to be up on my channel is going to be my shot my stash so if you don't want to miss that consider subscribing if you'd like to but today we're choosing five new palettes with the help of google's random number generator that i will be using for the month of july and then i have one sort of kind of palette that i'll talk about that i'm choosing to pull in myself of new eyeshadows and so real fast let me go through the eyeshadows that were pulled in last month gonna be honest not a great month for these eyeshadows i just did not really enjoy using the five eyeshadow well not all of the five some were better than others but kind of just my overall feelings on the five palettes that i pulled in we're not that positive. In fact, one of them I think I'm going to be decluttering in my next declutter video. You might be able to figure out what it is by the end uh, of this little segment, but but maybe not. Who knows? Okay. I pulled in three pretty neutral palettes. Uh, these three right here, they're, they're pretty old palettes, somewhat to my collection, but also just in the beauty space in general. So the first one is the Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced. Oh, I just dug my finger into one of those cool i don't mind this one uh, i actually I, I didn't get too much use out of this i did use it a couple of times i don't hate the shadows in here i don't love the shimmers in here though they're just not that that special but i don't hate using this and this is also one that i usually like to use more actually most of the sh most of these palettes are ones that i prefer to use more in the fall time that's just kind of the feel and the, how i like using them is in the fall time so this one was fine i didn't use it too too much same kind of with the next two this one uh is the original Too faced chocolate bar palette i feel like i might have used this one like the least i used it once maybe twice i, I, I mixed and matched a lot of these eyeshadow palettes together i probably used this one really the, well probably the same amount that i used the next one the naked original palette so didn't use this one all that often the naked original palette i did use a couple of times this one's actually more new than you would think it would be in my collection if i'm not mistaken my friend got this for me for my birthday just a few years ago kind of right before they discontinued it so this is actually pretty new to my collection but i just didn't find myself reaching for it i didn't want to reach for it same with all three of these palettes i think out of the three the one that i wanted to reach for the most was probably the sweet peach palette just because it gives me more summery vibes than these two which are super super neutral and a little more cool toned but really didn't get that much use out of all three of these i did make a point to use all three of them and i did dip into them for one shadow here and there to complete a look but yeah not that great with these three the next two a little bit different story so uh, this one i used a couple of times for specific shades it is the juvia's place the saharan 2 palette i didn't use any of the matte shades in here i just didn't i just simply didn't but i did pull for a handful of the shimmer shades which i think are the standout product in this palette this light blue color i used i think i used nomad a little bit this one right here i definitely used this top orangey color a little bit of this middle one i used almost all the shimmer shades i think the only one that i didn't use was the bright blue over here but i really like the shimmers in this palette and I was pretty glad that it got pulled in this month so that I could use it a little bit because this is one that I almost never reach for. So when it got pulled in, I wanted to make sure that I used some of the shimmers in here that I always say that I want to use and then never do. And I did that and I was pretty I was pretty happy with them. So definitely a good formula. And the one that I probably used the most is this one right here. This is the ColourPop So Jaded palette. A lot of stuff going on in here. I used this the most. This is the one that I probably reached for when I wanted to create an entire look uh, i also dipped into this for a shade here and there to mix and match with other shades this one's good lots of matte shades lots of colors not as much color as i always think that it has i always think that it has more matte colorful shades than it than it actually does it's got a lot of more neutral warm tone shades which is totally fine but it always seems like it's going to be more colorful than it actually is this is probably my favorite out of all of the ones that i pulled in this month so now that we've gone through my little mini review of the palettes that i pulled in last month let's hope that for the month of july we get some better palettes at least for me you know those aren't bad palettes they just didn't inspire me didn't do it for me last month so 
We've got Google's random number generator pulled up on my phone. I have my spreadsheet pulled up right there on my computer that I'll be referencing. We have a minimum of one, a maximum of 47. Let's see what our first palette pick of July is gonna be. 24. Ooh. All right, so palette number 24 is this one right here, which is actually perfect for summertime. It is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. This palette has got quite a bit of use in it. It is one of my favorites and lots of matte shades, a couple of shimmer shades. I think this will be really fun to combine with the palette that I'm choosing to pull in. And if we have some fun shimmer shades from any other palettes that get pulled in, then this is definitely a good one to have on hand. So. Very excited with pick number one. All right, let's generate our next palette. 32. I don't think that I've pulled this in yet this year. One of my things during this series is not to pull in the same palettes over and over again, even if they're randomly chosen for us. And I don't think this one has been pulled in. And it is another one that I think is good for this time of year. It is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, my most expensive palette in my collection. This is what the inside looks like. I'm pretty inspired by this. I'm pretty excited about this. Looking at it, I do feel like I had it pulled in either by choice or through the random number generator at least once this year already, but that's okay. It also just kind of is how I feel at that time. So we will be pulling this in, very excited. First two are definitely hits. Let's see about palette number three. 29. Nope, 29 is the peach palette, which we just pulled in last month. 33. Wow, okay, okay, There. this is, this is pretty good too. Palette number three, number 33 in my list, is the Naked Heat palette. I am pretty excited about this. I haven't used this in quite a while. Um, I'm, I'm excited. This definitely goes deeper and has a different kind of shimmer shade variety than the Huda Beauty palette. So I'm very excited about this. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite. Ooh, actually, is it? I really like this one, and then I also really like the Urban Decay Cherry palette. I don't know which one's my favorite out of the two, but I really like both of them. So it's been a long time since I pulled this in. So this is so exciting. All right, two more palettes. Let's see, 12, 12. I also don't think that I've pulled this in for a while. I don't think, definitely not this year, I think. It is a ColourPop palette. This is the Dream Street Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration. It's one of their first collaborations, if I'm not mistaken. This is what the inside looks like. Pretty neutral, got a couple of pops of colors in here. It's been a long time since I've used this. I do remember liking this palette, so I'm excited that it's getting pulled in so I can get some use out of it and really remember or decide if I do still like it. Okay, all right. Much better than last month. Now, well, let's see. Let's see how we end things. 37. Oh, all right. All right, so not a stellar ending, but not horrible either. I mean, I don't know if there's really m many palettes that I that would get chosen for me out of my collection that would not be that great, but the last palette that was chosen for us is this one right here. This is the Zoeva Cafe palette. This is another one that I usually would lean more towards in the fall, but I do think that there's some opportunities here. It's a very, it's a very, very pretty palette. The formula is not my absolute favorite, but it's good. And again, I think with everything that was chosen this month, I'm excited to get in there, play around, and really flesh out my feelings. All right, so those are the five palettes that were randomly selected for us for the month of July. And if you caught my most recent haul video, then these are gonna be no surprise to you. But in case you missed that video, I recently picked up a whole bunch of shades from Cleona Cosmetics. These ones right here, oh, they're just so fun. Oh, I'm so excited. And I wanna pull them in this month to get some use out of them. I'm so, so excited to have these. I have already dabbled in them a little bit. I've used maybe a total of three eyeshadows. So far, so good. But I did wanna pull these in to get some good solid use out of them because they're so pretty and they're new to my collection and I'm so excited. All right, and those are the five plus my one pick eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna be using for the month of July. I hope that you enjoyed. I do this series every single month, so if you don't wanna miss out on 
future palette rotation videos, consider subscribing. And the next video that'll be up on my channel is my Shop My Stash, where I go through my makeup collection and pick out things to use for the coming month. So again, that'll be next. And if you don't wanna miss that, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. All of those buttons are right down below. And I think that is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.